for the template I'm just going to use a bit of scrap cardboard, packing material and then just cut out the profile and test that. This is the software from the laser. That's the profile. I've exported it from SolidWorks as a DWF file but you can do a roll draw, Adobe Illustrator, they're various types but you just check whichever system works best for you. Then what you have to do is because it will cut, you don't want to cut out the block before it's cut the holes. So over here you have the different layers. Uh, now what I like to do is select it, then you, you change the colour, that gives it a different layer. Put the settings that you've seen from my test areas. And if it's going here, is output. I say no. Do OK. So now it'll cut this layer. Because it says yes over here. Then it goes on to the next layer and it says no. So what, what I do is I do a double setup. I cut the inner edges first, then the outer edges. And where did I get the power settings from? Well, once I've done all my tests, I then just put it in another material setting. So I have the list of the materials, the thickness, cutting speed, cut power for engraving and cutting, and any particular notes. So I'm just going to cut cardboard. I normally use a wheat box. box. Tells me if I want to cut it at 50 millimeters per second at 30%. If I want to engrave it, which is to burn a black mark into it for text note, it's 90 millimeters per second. That's 15%. So that's where I got these power settings from. So we'll switch on the machine now. I switched it off because it's fairly noisy. The fan blowing. So uh, it's on. I modify the ducting so as it just runs outside. Got to make sure your water pump's working and your fan's pumping. You can hear the air pump pumping the air in and the water. So that's the water pump. Got a temperature gauge in a clear glass. Uh, clear plastic containers as you can see it. That machine is normally switched on. So it's switched on. The power for the lage is now switched on. I then put it back in the zero position. I then put my material to where I want to cut it. Keep it flat, stop the wind from blowing. Go close. We'll now go over. And here is laser work start. Yes. And I click on this layer, double click on this layer. Is output. Take it back to no. Okay. Double click. Is output, change that to yes, do OK, now it's changed from, from no to yes, go back down to start, I switch off the laser, I just always open this a little bit to let the air circulate in so all the smoke is blown out, and there's the laser cut. So we'll go back over to the machine. This groove is needs really to be wider because when it runs on there it's sitting horizontal crosswise and that's tilted. So the width of that uh, flat is wider. But I cut out the cover in plastic so as it then twists. So we'll just see. So far that fits in, we line it up with the start of the thread and that lip needs to fit in there like that. After thinning it, 
lines up the edges screw holes so I'll be right to go and cut that now after laser cutting you can see where it actually melts the plastic what happens is the plastic sort of carburizes and it doesn't melt anymore this has taken six passes it's only three mil thick and as you can see some penetration full penetration some are not so what happens is it doesn't cut all the way through and some of the melted plastic then flows back and also you can see here the white oxidation as well so even though it's quick to cut you still have to cut these out you can use a exacto blade but then you have to file it up take the burrs off you sometimes get a bit of distortion Yeah. Uh -huh.